What is up, Flock? Phoenix Hill here, and welcome to Builder Simulator. Uh, this is a demo that was available through uh, the whole uh, Steam Next Fest uh, stuff. So we're gonna check it out, see if we like it. If we do, we're gonna add to that wish list. Um, so we can only do the tutorial right now. Fun. Oh, robot talks to us. Now let's build a foundation. So you can only do the, t the tutorials. You can't do anything else. Interesting. <laughs> builder. <laughs> Welcome to the Builder Factory. You're funny. You're probably wondering why you're in this place. Kind of. It's just because the game designer wanted the level to be small. Mm. My name is Builder, gotcha. and today I'm going to be your worst nightmare. <laughs> Guide through the game mechanics. Let's start with the basics. Follow me. You know what to press, don't you? Yeah. The tool wheel is available under the scroll or under the left bumper on the gamepad. Try it now. Under the Q key, you'll always have a task list available regardless of the game mode. As so soon as you move the controller, here. the game swaps the controls to it. This way, you'll never get lost. Roger. Fantastic! I am My maker sir. always said that everything needs a solid base. Let's start with foundation. Select a shovel from the tool wheel and dig the area for foundations. Okay, well this is easy. I thought for sure we'd have to dig the whole thing and then I was just gonna screw it up. So it'd be all uneven, but this is, uh, makes it super easy. <laughs> Alright. Formworks and reinforcements. As a real builder, you have to use the store to get the materials you need to build. Okay. Press tab or select on gamepad to open the store. Good job! Choose the first store available. Now on the left is a list of available categories according to the stage of construction. You can change the number of items you want to buy to 1, 10, or 100. Buy 100 formworks and reinforcements. Great job! Did you know that by Look holding down the left mouse button or the right trigger on the gamepad, you can insert them in the blink of an eye? Each stage of construction shows holograms to help you visually indicate which stage you are currently at. You know the joke about how one person works and the rest just watch? You just became part of it. Man, that's quick. Just say, what are you doing up there, builder? Is your brother's name Herm? Hermder? Hermder? Uh oh. I missed some somewhere. Oh, Good right job! There. Now it's time for the creme de la creme! The creme de la creme. and pour concrete over the foundations. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo, builders waiting just for you! Yeah! 
Okay. Hey, look at this. We finished the first tutorial. Welcome Where are you, man? You're probably wondering how come you had concrete in your wheelbarrow in the previous level? The game designers didn't want the stage to be too long. Let's find out how to make it. Okay. Choo choo! You can create two types of mixes. Mortar and concrete. Mortar is needed to join the blocks. Concrete, on the other hand, is used for foundations. Let's start by turning on the concrete mixer. I already did. You will lose one dollar for each second you leave the concrete mixer on. Oh. So make it quick and effective. All the ingredients you need can be found around the concrete mixer. Above the concrete mixer, there are the ingredients you need to create a mortar. Start with the sand. Take your shovel and put some in. I guess we gotta fill that up. I made the concrete. Whew, that was tough. What if I told you you could do it much simpler and faster? Go by the mixer and find the panel. There are three buttons here. Concrete, mortar, and auto switch. Choose the mix you want to create. This time it's gonna be concrete. And click the auto switch to make it automatically. Its cost will be a bit more, but it's way faster. Great power comes with great responsibility, such as budget. my mouse hello body is okay overtime. for some reason it wouldn't let us use my mouse but now it's back all right so concrete screed so screed wake the hell up builder we have a concrete screed to dig enough easter eggs let's go I bet your first name is actually Bob. Every builder Bob needs a builder. proper concrete screen. 
concrete. Let's continue with what we've prepared at the first stage. Okay. Get your shovel and dig the ground. Okay. This is simple. Great. Next up, you need a sand. You can do this in two ways. Either by the shovel or by the wheelbarrow. Go to the sand pile and pick up some sand with your shovel. Then place it in the floor. Nice. The second way is to pour sand from a wheelbarrow. Try putting some sand in the wheelbarrow. The wheel oh. on the bill goes round and round. What's the point? Why can't you just... Great! Now, finish sand bedding by pouring the sand over the concrete screen. I guess that's, that's all there is and ain't no more. Oh, that's a lot easier. Good job! Now we have to buy some reinforcements. Every house you build needs reinforcement to make concrete more durable. Buy 30 grid reinforcements. Now place them on the foil. Am I a joke to you? You kind of are, no, no, I ain't gonna lie. Already have it waiting in the wheelbarrow. Cheating is fun sometimes, huh? Pour it over. Fun fact. 30 installations in the shop. 30 installations. Now place the insulation over. Quickly! To the Batmobile uh, uh, training room! 
Why does your voice sound different? You sound slower. There you okay, bud? Types of walls. In our game, there are three types of walls. Bearing, partition, concrete partition walls. Trust me, it's the most rewarding part of the construction. You'll see the effects immediately. Okay. You'll need to get hollow blocks from the shop. Buy hollow blocks. Of them now. Fantastic! Now it's time to pick up mortar. You can find it in the wheelbarrow. Select trowel and pick up mortar from the wheelbarrow. Once collected, it remains on the trowel until the resource in the wheelbarrow is exhausted. That way you don't have to go back and forth. Well, that's handy. You're taking notes from the last demo, huh? In Builder Simulator, we have a leveling system that allows you to build houses faster the more you build them. Okay. Try it out by placing the first hollow block. Use the trowel to lay the mortar on the hollow block. Great! Now place the hollow block on it. Level up! I never thought someone would level up from the first hollow block. Now you've unlocked double hollow block placement. Give it a try. You leveled up again! Holy trowel! Let's see what happens now. Amazing! It reminds me of the Egyptian buildings I have in my data. <laughs> okay. Let's up the scaffolding. Scaffolding will be very helpful when working at heights. Select a scaffolding from the tool wheel. You can rotate it by clicking the right mouse button or left trigger. And not only that. You can also move it very precise with the scroll wheel. Good work. You can climb the ladder by clicking on it. I'll tell you a secret about layer 12. The 12th layer is the lintel layer. Ever heard of it? Nope. Its task is to transfer the weight from the opening to the adjacent walls. Above every doors and windows, you need to place one. Buy one lintel from the shop. If you're happy and you know it, then let's clap. Right. It's time you got to a virus, man. Hologram. Fabulous. Part of the walls is to set the ceiling when you reach the right height. Ceiling holograms will automatically appear when you fill in the blocks well, on the last layer. Well, that makes it easy. And this is the moment when you have to place the ceiling blocks. Buy 20 ceiling blocks from the shop. Some would say the sky's the limit. But for us, it's ceiling blocks on each level. <laughs> Enough okay. bad jokes. Put the Boys ceiling blocks me out. in the hologram. Extraordinary. After your work, dismantle your scaffolding with drill. This way, when your house is built and beautiful, you can take a picture of it. Yes, we do have photo mode. The next step will be the partition walls. See you later. All right. Welcome back. Do you get your virus to fixed? More? Today you will learn how to insert doors and windows. It's pretty cool and easy. Follow me. Follow him. Every building needs a door to enter and windows to bring light into the house. Our game is no different. Remember from the previous stage when you inserted the lintels? 
You don't have to do it this time. But you need to okay. know that they are the reason we can put in doors and windows. That's Let's cool. Start with doors. Buy one outside door. Buy one outside door. Buy. Right. Select it from the inventory and look at the entrance of the house. You may notice that the door is in the wrong position. Adjust it using the scroll bar. Hologram will turn green when it's done. The spirit level moves with the door and will show you the correct position when the door lights up green. Great job! Now you have to screw in the hinges. Choose a drill and insert the necessary screws. All the screws that need to be screwed in always light up orange. Imagine using a screwdriver. Now it's time for wedges. Simply fill them in by clicking on the highlighted areas. I clicked on it. There we go. Now you know how to insert a door. You can even open and close them by clicking on them. And don't worry about the phone. We'll talk about it later. Okay. Amazing! Let's move on to windows. There are two types of windows. Any window under two meters on the planner is a standard home window. Likewise, any window over two meters is already a patio window. You dictate the terms on the planner and choose what size windows you want to insert. For the purposes of the tutorial, you will insert a single window. Buy one window from the shop. Nicely done! Now try inserting them just like a door. Same principle, same fun! Now it's time I... to put in all the screws you need. Um, it's going ahead of the tutorial, that's why. Oh, forgot the one at the top. There Next we go. Step, insert the wedges. Insert them by simply clicking on the hologram. Support wedges are wedges? used to support we don't need no stinking wedges. the window in the window opening. Did you see how the phone filled itself after the wedges were inserted? We thought that doing it manually would be boring, so we automated it. Remember that every window requires a sill or threshold. Adjust it like you did with window and door. Great! Look at the patio window next to you. You can see the difference. That's everything for doors and windows. Okay. Remember, you decide how you want your house to look. See you in the next stage! Alright, one more. I'm having kind of fun. I'm liking it. Ah, my friend! My friend! Partition walls are my hobby. My neighbors also love to hear the drill. You're not my friend. You're my brother, my friend. They'll tell you all about it. <laughs> Let's go to the training room. This is like a tense looking building here. Partitions separate rooms from each other and should, therefore, have the best possible sound insulation properties. Let's start with plasterboard walls. Of course, you have to mark them on the planner first. But for the Manny purpose bye. of the tutorial, on the partition walls themselves, we've already determined them. You're welcome. Thanks, to Bill. Build a wall, you need floor, ceiling, and wall profiles. Buy 100 profiles in the shop. Great! Now place them in the holograms and screw them in with a drill. Is that it? This drill supercharged. I like it. I want one in real life. Oh, can we put these down here now? Job. Now we have something to screw the plasterboard to. Isn't that amazing? 
Yes, very much builder. the nails. Nice. Every wall needs to be insulated. Rock wool is often used to do that. Buy 20 rock wools in the shop. Oh, I did not. Excellent. of the wall, you must first lay insulation between them. Select it from the inventory and insert it in the missing places. Lovely. Attach one more plasterboard on the other side. This is how partition walls are insulated. The profiles nice. must be fixed to the floors and ceiling, and the plasterboards to the profiles. There's also a second type of partition wall. Concrete partition walls. Oh, great. Assembly is very different. First, you need to lay a damp proof course. By 20 insulation. Now, place it on the ground. Good job. Remember what you've done with bearing walls? You need some mortar. You'll find it in the wheelbarrow. Once the mortar has been collected on the trowel, it remains until you've exhausted the stock in the wheelbarrow. Pretty cool, right? It took our game designers way too long to figure out this solution. Place mortar! Everything it ready for concrete blocks. Don't forget the lintel over the door. Buy 100 concrete blocks and one lintel. You won't need as much, but you never know when inflation will get to the DIY markets. Build a concrete partition wall. If you're happy and you know it, then let's clap. Which, uh, why didn't we have to switch last time? Fun thing is that 
that you can destroy them! Why? But first, you have to mark with an eraser which wall you want to destroy on the planner. This time I'll do it for you automatically. Got your back, Jack! If you are not happy with the partition walls, take a hammer in your hand and destroy them. Okay. You've already got the walls covered. I wonder what's next. Alright guys, that's gonna do it for today. I'm I'm liking this and I probably will get this game. Because it is, it is pretty fun to play just from the tutorials. I'd love to see what it is like in the actual game. But that's going to do it for me. Uh, check this out. It's available on Steam. I'm pretty sure this will go up in the demo week. So you can check it out for free. The demo. And uh, purchase it if you like. But if you like this video, be sure to leave a like down below. It does help me out so very, very much. And I do appreciate it so very, very much. If you guys do want to see future of Farming Sim. Or Farming Sim. Phoenix Plays. Be sure to click that subscribe button. And as always guys. Thank you so very much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.